guys and welcome to the October portion of my reading log. Now, I really did not read all that much within this month. It's been very busy if you have been keeping up with my other socials and all that stuff. So the fact that we have read anything is primarily due to reading stuff through school. Because <laughs> otherwise we didn't get much at all. And um, you know, usually if I have a book that I spend like a month reading on timeline-wise, we know it's because I don't like it. But like right now I have a book that didn't even finish this for this month that I really won't read. I've been enjoying it. It's just, you know, timing has not been working out. So give that a little bit of credit as we will. But um, so the first book I read, I read from September 28th to October 2nd, and that is Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, and I forgot to grab my books. Be back real quick. <laughs> okay, now I'm prepared. Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. So as you know, this is one of my favorite series of all time. Oh, perfect man. And um, so of course, I have to read the books as well, and it is just as charming, just as endearing. I really wanted something that just felt very homey, that I loved, and I knew that I loved, which is why I went ahead and reread this. So this is by um, Hajime Kamoshida, and <laughs> the notes I have are generally what you expect, Mysterial Era Spunny Girl, rumors of like air in the room with the atmosphere, we have the Anoshima Aquarium, which I grew up around, so that is a very important place to me, particularly. Adolescent Syndrome as a whole, the fight the atmosphere ideas, the banter between Mai and Sakuta, and overall just a love experience all together. So if you don't know, Rascal's is a dream of Bunny Girl Senpai revolves around Sakuta, who has dealt with some weird occurrences throughout his life, you know, just, just mildly weird occurrences. And um, randomly when he's in the library, sees a girl dressed up in a bunny suit and you know, kind of gets his attention a little bit. Cause like, okay. <laughs> now that girl turns out to be one of his classmates, by Sakurajima, in which because he can see her, they end up talking a little bit and figuring out a little bit more. So she is going through adolescent syndrome, which is basically all the hoodoo voodoo stuff going on around these teenagers. And um, because she is disappearing from the public eye in terms of her acting career, she's also disappearing quite literally, which is why she dresses up as a bunny girl to try to see if anyone can see her. And as the story continues, she begins to disappear more and more. But throughout it, you get friendship, romance, I love of both. With some great humor and it's just overall such a great series and I'm excited to read more and tell more to you guys. The next book I read was For School and it's Hyperbolina Half by Ali Broch. I read this October 10th to 17th. So this is a memoir done in a comedic type of way with a lot of humor and a little bit of comic art style to it. Probably in memoir is kind of harsh because it's just, it's random occurrences. It's not like it's really, here's your life story. It's just, here's random things that happen in your life. That's kind of a different scenario, you know? <laughs> oh, my voice is dying. Anyways. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I didn't connect with your type of humor. It did not make me laugh whatsoever. There is some uses of doc derogatory words in there that I don't believe you should be saying, but that's just me. Everything is fairly mundane. There's just not really too much to take away from it, which normally you do in a memoir. I mean, we've covered memoir and autobiography with Mass and Beer and um, Tom Felton on this channel already, and I love both of those two to death. So it's just like, Okay, whoa. And the last book I read, oh, and that book was for the first time. This I read for the first time, and it's a Superboy comic book by um, Kazuo Grummet and Hazel Wood. And I read this October 26th, 
Wayne for 1990 the version to come out. <laughs> Won't lie. Just because I need another book before um, October finished. I knew that. And I didn't have time to read anything else, so we got a comic book. Um, you have like immediate sexualization from the very start of this book. And it's not subtle whatsoever. Um, the whole setting of the story is kind of weird. And then, um, I don't know. I mean, it's just... Ooh, there is a superhero AIDS ad within the middle of it. That was kind of interesting. I mean, not a bad thing. It's just kind of interesting. <laughs> like, some target placement there. But otherwise, like, the story itself is like, virtually nothing. You don't really learn anything about him. You don't really care. It's very much quick, but bam, and okay. <laughs> So, not too much of an opinion on that, and that's all I read within October, because I suck. Now, I'll go ahead and say that I have been reading this. This is the one I started, and I have not been able to finish, because I have not had time. Now, once we get mid-November, I should have actual time again, and hopefully we will finish this, because I am really enjoying it, and obviously, I care very much. But, usually I want to tell you, go ahead and tell you what I'm reading. I mean, you can see it on my Goodreads if you want to, <laughs> but usually I don't say it just to have some interest, but considering how much I did not read, I figure I can go ahead and tell you guys and let you guys know. So until November, in which I have another required reading pretty soon after that, so I guess we'll have that first, but until then, bye.